Hello YouTube, in today's video I'll be showing you guys how to create a ringtone from iTunes 11. I have made a video in the past on how to create a ringtone or how to download a ringtone, but that method doesn't work anymore so this is a new method that's much better because you can choose your own songs and create a ringtone out of any songs that you have in your iTunes library. So first thing is, to, let's open our iTunes. Once it's open, you'll want to choose a song that you want to create into a ringtone. So I'm going to choose this song and right click it, then click get info over here. Once the get info window opens, you'll want to click options over here and make sure that both start time and stop time are checked. So I think the length of a ringtone can only be 30 seconds, so make sure you make your ringtone below 30 seconds. So I'm going to start from zero because that's where I want my start time to be but you can place it anywhere in the song so that's pretty easy so I'll make mine 25 seconds long so just type in 25 seconds and press OK once that's done you want to right click again and click create AAC version so as you can see up here it's creating the AAC version and by the way guys you won't lose your original song or it won't be affected by this so yeah the next thing you want to do is right click the top bar where it says name, time, artist, date, added, all that stuff. You want to right click it and uh, you want to click kind. You want to make sure kind over here is checked. So once that's done, you want to click kind up here and go all the way to the top and search for, just make sure you search for you'll see over here it says AAC and you want to search for the track you just converted into AAC so here we go here's the one we converted and as you can see it's 25 seconds long over here so you want to right click again and go to uh, show in Windows Explorer now this step is not necessary but if you want you can organize your ringtones and I'm gonna do that so I'm gonna copy it on the desktop over here I'm gonna move it to the desktop and rename it to MP you know how it says MP M4A or whatever you wanna put M4AR so you wanna put M4R as the extension and make sure when it asks you to change it put yes and if you can't see the extension over here like the dot MP whatever M4 whatever then you wanna open up your my computer over here and go to tools folder options view and you wanna make sure that hide extensions and whatever is unchecked so it doesn't hide the extension and then you want to click OK over here and once that's done it should be showing the extension the next thing you want to do is if you want to organize your ringtones just put it into a folder for example I'm gonna put it into here because that's where I keep all my ringtones okay so once that's there you can either delete this from here if you want to if you don't want to keep it you can delete it you don't need to keep it there and uh, you want to go to, you want to click music over here and go to tones. So your ringtones are going to be placed here. And basically just drag the ringtone you created, the M M4R ringtone over here inside here. But once that's done, you want to plug in your iPhone and just sync the iPhone and it will be on the iPhone. Let me just show you guys how, what I mean by that. So once you sync your phone and you unlock your iPhone, you'll see that if you go to settings, sounds, and ringtone or text tone, or you can change any of them basically. And if you go to ringtones, you'll see the ringtone appear there. And you can select it as your ringtone. So I hope you guys were able to follow along and this video was easy for you guys. And if it was and it helped you, then please give it a thumbs up. And uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and see you guys in the next video. All right, guys. So one thing I forgot to mention is that once you're done, the ringtone process and everything you want to make sure that you reset the start and stop time so just uncheck both of them and click OK and they will be reset to the original start and stop time as you can see so make sure you do that so the track is not messed up thanks for watching once again and see you guys later Run a quick analysis, bro.